Hello everyone. Happy Sunday. Um, yeah, I, oh man, I have had one really rough week and guess what? The week starting tomorrow is going to be just as rough. Yeah. Um, so, um, today is going to be my first review of X-Men 97 and this is going to be the first season, first episode. It's entitled, <clears throat> To Me, My X-Men. Now, before I begin, I want to say that I did not read any comic books today because I was just so tired and I'm just, oh man. All right, so uh, this takes place after the death of Professor Xavier and for people that want to know, I did not know that Professor Xavier died um so that was shocking i was like oh professor xavier is dead i did not know that so um apparently he died at the end of the final season of the original x-men <clears throat> um and everything so um so this is the first episode of the new show x-men 97 and what happens is, with the assassination of Professor Xavier, <coughs> humanity is starting to warm up to mutants. And this is something that should not have had to have happened for people to realize that killing another person is wrong. I just, I don't understand why people in this world think that it's okay <clears throat> to um, violate other people's rights. So uh, there is, so the Sentinel program is disbanded. The UN is working with the X-Men and all this stuff, but there is anti-mutant <clears throat> technology that's still out there. <coughs> and Trask is a wanted man and basically uh, these friends of humanity kidnaps this rich kid who is a mutant and we find out later on what his ability actually is. Um, so some of the voice actors I do remember. Like I, either it is the original voice actor for... Um, for Beast, or it's someone who's able to mimic his um, voice, and I think that I think they got the original voice actress for Storm. I don't really know, um, but a couple of the people that did the voice acting I've never met. I don't recognize their voice um, at all, but it happens. Sometimes voice actors die. Sometimes. They're just too old to actually do the voice work. A lot of things can happen. But in this one, uh, some of the voice actors um, are back. Uh, another thing I liked, another thing that I will say about this episode is it does kind of update the um, the uh, the um, opening of the original X Men which I thought was um, interesting. And I liked it. I, I really did like the updated opening. It wasn't too far from the original opening. Um, so, yeah. So uh, the X-Men managed to uh, get him and brings him to Xavier's school for the gifted. And... <clears throat> And so they're trying to find out about this anti-mutant technology and all that stuff. And we find out that Professor Xavier did have a will <coughs> and it's red. Um, so uh, overall, overall, I loved the episode. The episode had all the feels of the original X-Men. Um, I know people had some issues with some of the things they changed. 
I don't really care. Uh, even if they were changed, I barely noticed it or I didn't notice it at all. Um, and it's still about, you know, yes, more and more people are accepting mutants and, and, and knowing that, that, you know, that they're, they're good. You know, there's, there's a lot of good. There's some bad. That's just life. Um, <clears throat> Jean Grey is pregnant, uh, which she wasn't at the end of the original run of X-Men. Uh, I personally decided to watch this show because I wanted to see if it was just as good as the um, original uh, X-Men. And I will say I loved it. It had all the nostalgia, all the feels. And I've heard people say that X-Men 97 is really, really good. And the first episode did not disappoint me. I did enjoy it a lot. Um, but for people that want spoilers, Magneto is now in charge of the X-Men because it was in Charles Xavier's will that despite um, everything, uh, Magneto had great respect for him. Um, which shows that, you know, in really at the end of it, uh, you know, Magneto was still Xavier's friend. They might have had their differences, but they still respected each other because they had gone through a lot together before uh, things splintered. But I did enjoy it, and I, I just thought it was really, really great. So five stars, excellent um, episode. Uh, I cannot watch the second episode tonight because I gotta go to bed. I gotta be up at eight. Uh, no, sorry, I gotta be up at five. So I will um, leave it at that. I'll see you guys around.